So, it's late, y'all. And it's been officially four weeks since I put in my mini braids. And I'm just over these. I'm ready to take them down. I just want to get some shampoo on my scalp. It's just something about shampoo and the scalp. Just... I just need that tonight. I don't care. Even though it's like 10 o'clock, I'm probably going to be up until 1, 2 o'clock. And I don't even care at this point. I'm ready to take them down. But this is how they look after four weeks. Not bad, right? They still look good. But something in me just needs to wash my hair. You just know when you just have that calling to wash your hair. I just can't go to bed tonight without not washing my hair. I need to get this done. <laughs> I was going to wash them in the mini braids, but I'm like, no, I don't want to risk locking my hair and causing matting. I need to take these down the proper way, detangle them, get all of that shedded hair out of there so I don't experience any unnecessary breakage. Okay, so I do notice some growth, as you can see. The roots right here is a little puffy. So there's some growth in there. So I'm beginning the takedown process and if you can remember I started my mini braids with twists at the end and this come in very handy for the takedown because it makes it a whole lot easier. So right here I'm loosening out the twisted section. I only twisted about one inch at the bottom of that braid so it's not very high. So once I get the twisted section out, now I am going to be taking out the plaited section of the hair right here. For the plaited section, I'm using my rat tail comb and I use the end of that comb and just poke it through starting at the ends. Very gentle and being patient with the takedown process, how you take down your braids makes a big difference between breakage and no breakage and whether your protective style was worth it or not so i'm just using my finger to get it out a bit but obviously that was not working so i went back to using the rat tail comb for the remainder of this takedown so i just pushed the tip of that comb through the braided section at the end so make sure you don't go all the way up the shaft of the hair but start at the end where that braid stops so this process is tedious and this takedown process took so long oh my goodness y'all i feel like it took the same amount of time it took it to put them in so i don't know if i will do this again i'm sorry but i'm going back to twist <laughs> for my next run I don't know, y'all. This took a lot out of me. I think the next time I have to split it into two days with the takedown, I feel like because I did it all in the same night, it was just so much work. But, yeah, next time I know better. So now you can see up here the braid is coming loose much more easier as I get closer to the roots. So you can use your finger, switch over to your fingers to take out the roots And this is how it looks right here. I see so much growth. So after taking out the braid, I just go ahead and spray with a little bit of water. And then use my Y2 comb to detangle that section. And just get that shedded hair out of there. This detangling as I go made this process a whole lot I mean my detangling process a whole lot easier so detangling while I go made the detangling process a whole lot easier so I'm repeating that same thing all over my hair I'm moving on to the second braid start by taking out the twisted section with my fingers then I move over to using the tip of that rat tail cone to take out the plait section and I just alternate go between the fingers or the rat tail comb depending on what feels best and what is more gentle for my hair.